Hey guys. If you notice from my animations, you can see I use squash and stretch pretty often. Today, I'm going to show you how you can replicate this effect so you can make your anims look more cartoony. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to create your animation and when you will apply it. Here, I want this guy to have some sort of a reaction which will be applied with squash and stretch. After finishing your animation, select the poses of where you want to apply squash and stretch. Next, while having that pose, make sure you select every single part inside except the humanoid and humanoid root part and export it as an object to your files. Do this every time you save poses. Also, if your dummy has hats or multiple accessories, make sure they are hats or else you will export two textures instead of one. Next, close out the animation, and insert a mesh part in which you'll open up the pose you just saved on your files. If your mesh doesn't have a texture, that's okay. Just import it in your asset manager and you can insert the texture with ID. After getting your meshes, come back to your animation and now we will begin the fun part. Insert your mesh and select C frame and size. Then, select the original rig and turn on onion skin to precisely animate the squashing. It doesn't need to be accurate, but as close as possible. In the other frame, Move your dummy at the bottom so it doesn't get in the way of the mesh. Then, move your mesh to the position of the onion skin and apply your knowledge of squash and stretch by having the squashing get less and less extreme the more frames you go. Squash at the bottom, and stretch at the top. Hold control to scale on a single axis while resizing. If you don't know how to use the principle of squash and stretch, I put a link in the description for more information. Grab the other mesh of the dummy and turn on onion skin of the first mesh so you don't lose track of the stretching. Finally turn of the onion skin and look at that effect. Squash and stretch is also kind of similar to overlapping action. The more you apply it, the more appealing it looks. But be sure to limit yourself on how much squashing and stretching you want. And this doesn't only apply to Roblox models, it can also apply to objects as well. If you want to apply squash and stretch to a moving object, first grab your object, then grab an R6 dummy to which you delete everything except the torso, humanoid, and humanoid root part. I already saved it but if you want to use that instead of doing this, then I have a link in the description. Rename the dummy into something else so that there won't be an error of many models named dummy. Insert your object inside the dummy and weld it on the torso. Make sure animatable is checked. You can also rescale the torso and humanoid root part so that it is easier to move the object. After welding, go into Moon Animator and decide how you want to animate your object. Use C frame for direction, and use torso for bouncing and positioning of the squashing. Do this multiple times until you have reached your satisfaction. You can slow down the video if you want to see the process more clearly.
well this seems like the end. If you wanted to squash and stretch actual models, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could try. Remember, if you want to animate to the best, you have to experiment with your skills. Find out what you couldn't do before and keep practicing. I hope I did my best explaining how to do it, I'm not so used to making tutorials. Also I would like to thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I'll see you guys next time in another time making a tutorial. Bye.